This is information about a treatment for overactive bladder called sacroneuromodulation. It's also referred to as interstim therapy. What is overactive bladder? Overactive bladder is caused by abnormal bladder contractions. Hyperactive bladder muscle causes the bladder to contract even when you're not ready to use the restroom. Those abnormal bladder contractions cause the symptoms of urinary frequency, which is needing to use the restroom more frequently than every four hours, urinary urgency, which is an urgent need to use the restroom and rush to go to the bathroom, and urge incontinence, which is when you can't hold your urine and have an accident on your way to the restroom. What causes overactive bladder? The actual cause of overactive bladder muscle contractions is unknown. It's possibly due to a muscle problem, a nerve problem, or both of those. There are health conditions that cause the symptoms of overactive bladder, such as hypertension, diabetes, obesity, increased intra-abdominal pressure, constipation, and vaginal dryness after menopause. Other things that cause overactive bladder symptoms are bladder irritants, like caffeine, chocolate, spicy foods, artificial sweeteners, and acidic juices, and bad behaviors or habits, like holding your urine for too long when you may be too busy to use the restroom. There are various treatments for overactive bladder. Some of them you may have already tried. We usually like to start with non-invasive treatments, like behavioral modification, physical therapy, and or medications. Examples of medications for overactive bladder are ditropan and detrol. Non-invasive treatments don't always help for severe overactive bladder symptoms, especially urgency with urge incontinence. Not too long ago, medications were the only option. More recently, procedures have been developed which help immensely for those symptoms. We have three procedures available for overactive bladder. They include sacral neuromodulation or interstim, posterior tibial nerve stimulation, and bladder Botox injections. Sacral neuromodulation is a type of pacemaker implant. It's similar to these pacemaker implants which are used for a multitude of diseases throughout the body. The sacral neuromodulation pacemaker implant works by generating electrical impulses to nerves that moderate bladder function. The indications for its use are all aspects of overactive bladder, urinary frequency, urgency, and urge incontinence. It can also be used for non-obstructive urinary retention, which is the inability to empty your bladder. Because interstim placement is a surgical procedure and does require a commitment, you can test it in the office before you decide to have it implanted. The test procedure is called PNE, or percutaneous nerve evaluation. It's done in the office, there's no anesthesia or medications needed, and about 70% of patients see benefit from the test and decide to have the device implanted. The office test procedure involves lying on your stomach for about 25 to 30 minutes. Your lower back will be exposed, cleaned off, and draped with sterile towels. Your doctor will take small pins and find the openings in your sacrum that lead to the nerves modulating bladder function. Once those nerves 
are located, tiny wires are placed near them and stimulated by a test stimulator to see if it helps your symptom. These are the tiny wires that will be stimulating the nerves during your test. The test lasts for anywhere from three to five days. During that time, you will use a small stimulator and change it from one side to the other to determine which side helps your symptoms the best. Here's an example of how the wires will be taped to your back. The white cords going off to each side can be intermittently attached and detached from the stimulating device. The wires and attachments are then very thoroughly covered with gauze and tape. During the test period, you will not be able to shower as you normally do at home. You can sponge bathe or use a shower attachment to very gently bathe the front of your body. It's also important to limit your activity. The tiny wires can easily be pulled out. So for about three to five days, you wanna make sure that you're not in a position where you need to bend, lift, or do any vigorous exercise. This is the external stimulator that will provide different frequencies of stimulation to the wires while you're testing them. During testing, you can move the stimulator from one side to the other to see which side gives the best result. If you see good results from the test and decide to go on to implantation, this is the pacemaker-like device that will be implanted in the fleshy part of your upper buttocks. Implant in the operating room is an outpatient procedure. It takes about one hour. There's no general anesthesia necessary. The anesthesiologist will give you some medications to help you feel relaxed while you lie on your stomach during the procedure. It will be very similar to the procedure you had in the office. The new lead and pacemaker are implanted. It's important to understand the risks of this procedure. With any surgical procedure, there are risks of bleeding and infection. The risk of bleeding is low with the inner stim placement. Infection can occur, and for this reason, we give you antibiotics before and during the case, and we also send you home with a week of antibiotics to take. There's also a risk that the device won't work for your symptoms even though it worked during the testing period. There can be pain at the generator site, and there can also be transient abnormal sensations that occur. For these reasons, your device may need to be removed or revised in the operating room. Postoperative instructions. When you're in the recovery room, a family member and yourself will receive detailed instructions before you leave. You'll receive medication for pain and antibiotics. It's okay to remove your bandage and shower the second day after surgery. No lifting or repetitive bending, pushing or pulling for two weeks. Regular activity and exercise can be resumed in two weeks after surgery. From that point on, you can do all the activities you normally would before the device was implanted. After implantation. After you leave the hospital, an appointment will be made for you to receive even more device instructions. Regular follow-up with your urologist will be scheduled and support is available 24 hours a day through the company that makes Interstim. If you're interested in Interstim, there's more information available. We have brochures and a DVD in the office. You can talk to your urologist anytime. Email them through your kp.org account or call the urology office at 707-393-4064.